Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We've got Sam with us tonight. Oh, yeah. We're going out for pretty much anything and we've got a big barbecue, so hopefully we can get a good cook up on the go. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! Sam's got first fish of the night. Little mullet. Oh, look at that. It's tiny. Be a great little live bait, eh? Yeah. Perfect, mate. Lovely. Come on, we're walking up a stream at the moment, guys, because sometimes you find bass coming out of here. So we're just going to head up there and we're straight in the surf trying to find any other creatures. I've got a little turbot or brill here. Did I get him? Yeah, I got him. That is a little brill. There you go. Lovely little creature that. Definitely not big enough to keep, but lovely to see. Quite a rare catch foraging is finding brill like that. But we want a lot bigger than that. Awesome. The way to identify brill to turbot the brill is sort of an overall shape and it's got no bumps on its back. The turbot are more of a diamond shape and they've got like big, big sort of nobules on their back. Look at that. What a beast. He's just cruising back home. There's a flatfish here, guys. Oh, I got him. It's a turbot. Oh, nice. <laughs> I couldn't work out what he was because he was partially buried. Look at that. Nice, nice little turbot there. Definitely not big enough to keep, I don't think. I wouldn't keep a turbot that big. But look at that. What a beautiful creature, eh? Yeah, it's got a little chunk out of it there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Something's had a go. Awesome creatures. And as I was explaining, we found a brill before. This is the turbot. They're more of a diamond shape, as you can see. And they got nobules on the back. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. There's little nobules. Awesome little creature. Let's get it back. See you later, my friend. Look at that for a beautiful fish. If only, if, if only it had a few more pounds on it, eh, Sam? Oh, yeah. Be good on the barbie. I think this is the third species of flatfish we found today. Once he stops wiggling. There you go. That's a sole. Awesome little creature. This one was about a pound and a half. It'd be going on our barbecue. But lovely to see all the same. I love finding all these little different flatfish. Come on, hopefully we get a place next. We've got a lobster here, guys. Definitely not a keeper, but Looked a lot bigger in the water. I got excited for a second. But still, lovely to find. Nice sized lobster. Just walking along the sand, heading to this reef. We're heading to a big old pile of rocks now and hopefully we'll find a keeper. Little lobster there, guys. Straight out of the hole. Definitely not big enough. We can go back. Look at that big beast. I've just been picking up a few bigger prawns as I've been going along. Hopefully we can get a bucket full. Lobster. There we are guys. Just tucked away, the tide's whipping out at the moment. And shebang. Check that beast out. Just going to give it a measure and hopefully that's going to be close. Nice. One keeper down in about three mil that one you beauty that one's going straight on the barbie turned into a good session tonight we found loads of flatfish now keep a lobster there's a sole here guys did i get him yeah i've got him what oh, look at that one feisty that was sold this one we finally found one but definitely not big enough lovely to see look at the white under that fish beautiful white there you go that's a sand sole guys not a bad size one but not big enough to eat but still we, we love doing this it's so peaceful eh Sam that's it just mooching around finding all sorts of different creatures on a on a surf beach hello Mr Larry how are you doing today? 
<laughs> little female lobster there. Just snuck out of the hole. It's lovely to see. We're finding loads of different creatures at the moment. Really enjoying this forage. Me and Sam are just chilling out, just cruising along the shore edge, finding some cool little creatures. Sam's has found a really squishy lobster. Really, really soft. Oh yeah. That's not, recently molted, eh? Not long, probably today, to be fair. Yeah, that's awesome to see, mate. Just put them down by this artificial reef here. Yeah, artificial crab pot reef. That one, guys, just come out of this hole right here. And that, oh, it's soft. I was going to say, and that's another keeper, but looks like it's not. You can feel the sides of it, giving a little bit there. That's no good. <laughs> At least we found another keeper. That's awesome to see. It's just a little bit soft. I can feel it on the side here. But lovely lobster nonetheless. Sticking back in his hole. We'll find you next time, buddy. <laughs> Another lobster in there. There's a little baby one. We found this little gully here. You see, look at the wrasse. Beautiful colors on that. And we, this is full of life. So what we're doing is we're just working our way around. See the lobster down there. And we're just going through the holes just to see if we can find anything decent. We got lobsters popping out the holes left, right and center at the moment. <laughs> a lot of them are soft. Sam's just found a soft one as well. Seems to be a few of them. Look at that. It's almost every big rock's got some sort of lobster hole under. Nice size eel down there. They've always got a habit of beaching themselves, the congas. No idea why. Fascinating to see though. See you later, buddy. We're gonna start gathering up some of these bigger prawns now. We're gonna have some barbecue skewers. So we don't need too many, just a few. There's some good ones around here. And the tide's coming up now, so what they do is they come in with the tide you can just walk around scooping them up. Got the little cuttlefish. Always a welcome sight to see. This one looks a bit angry. It's flashing dark to white. <laughs> see you later, buddy. Got the mother prawn. Oh yeah, that's more like the ones you want. It's gotta be close to three inches long, that beast. Yeah, it's a native oyster shell. Yeah. That's a beast. It's quite big. Be nice to catch. <laughs> Be cooking it. <laughs> cool little wrasse there. Little balam wrasse. Love the colours on these things. What we're doing, we're working our way back up the beach now, guys. Just picking up some prawns as we go. And then we're back for a nice old cook up. What we got in this little hole? A couple of little wrasse. Just a little bit small, that prawn. That one there is a nice one. And that one there is even bigger. Look at the size of that. We find a ton of these. This is prone for the uh, summer. We find tons of these little wrasse. They are absolutely everywhere. Come on, you big prawns. Oh, got a lobster claws right next to my hand then. Oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> he got out. Yeah, that's it. He deserves to live. Look at that, I've got some busters in here. This is just running the net straight underneath the rocks. And we're pulling out some beauties. These will go down well on the barbie, that's for sure. This one here is probably bigger still the night. That's a beauty, that one. It's like a little mini lobster. Love these star, they're solid prawns. Really hard shell on them, so what we do is get the skewers, put them straight through, and they're roasting on the barbie. We've got another monster. The prawn seems to be getting bigger, eh, Sam? Beauty, look at that one. I think we got enough prawns now, guys. We didn't need a ton of them. Just enough for a little snack, eh, Sam? Yeah, We've got half a lobster and a load of prawns here. So I'll make a nice meal. Little one claw Larry. 
coming in with the tide. Tide's coming up quite quick now, guys. So we're just back in the surf. Gonna make our way up the beach, but we'll show you if we find any cool creatures. There we go. We're back on the beach, and sure enough, nice little soul there. Love the way these things move. Awesome little creature. We've got the barbecue all set up here. Oh, well, we're setting it up, shall I say. Got loads of barbecue coals. We got fire lighters this time because last last video we couldn't even get the uh, barbecue lit. No, no, not at all. <laughs> Useless. But hey, once we get this lit, we're gonna be cooking seafood like no tomorrow. Have a bit of that. <laughs> oh, it looks like mayo. <laughs> a bit of mayo on your coal. Yeah, a bit of mayo on the coal. Why not? Can't beat this on a sunrise. The sun is literally just coming up. You can see how, how bright orange it is. This is going to be a corker of a sunrise. And we're going to be cooking good. The barbecue's looking pretty good now, guys. Check that out. So what we're going to do is dispatch the lobster. And we're going to make up some nice little skewers of our prawns. And there's some delicious seafood on the go. We didn't get a huge amount of prawns, but enough for a skewer or two just to pick at. We didn't want a huge amount tonight, eh, mate? Just, no. just something nice to cook. Feast, morning feast. Yeah, look at that. That's what you call a morning feast. Some nice prawns there, eh? Mmm, really nice We've got our lobster nice and butterfly there, guys. So we're gonna do, really simple. Bit of smoked paprika straight over the top. You can see the muscles twitching a little bit. And some lovely bit of garlic granules. And what that would do is cook through while it's on the barbie. And we're good to go. Nice to go on, the good old prawns. That sunrise is getting blood red. Beautiful to watch come out. Can't beat the smell of fresh lobster on a barbie. The prawns are pretty much ready now. See, beautiful orange colour. Looking amazing. Check that out, guys. That's what you call an awesome looking meal. All the prawns there. Lovely big juicy prawns. We've got our lobster perfectly cooked. Once that cools down, we're gonna be munching this bad boy. Yum. Sunrise, eh? Oh, it's gorgeous. You can sit and watch it for ages, eh? Mm. It's amazing. Can't beat that, and we've even got a lobster. You diving in for a prawn first, oh, is yeah, it? Straight away. Can't beat a good local prawn, eh? That's what it's all about. Getting out, having a bit of fun. Trying to mess around, catch flatfish. Yeah, good night. It's been fun, eh? Like we've had a load of little species. Yeah, shame we didn't see any more big flatfish, but mm. Mm. we'll get one eventually, though, yeah. eh? Oh, for sure. Hopefully. <laughs> I love the barbecue taste on these prawns as well. Mm. We need to bring some smoking chips with us, eh? Mm. That'll be well good. Not a breath of wind tonight. It's been mm. absolutely still. It's been a really nice night, hasn't it? Yeah, the water's been flat, eh? Perfectly. Mm. Can't be that for foraging. Better the weather, 
the better the foraging is really. You can just see so much more. It's not rippling the water as much. Makes your life a lot easier, huh? It does, eh? It really does. Mmm. I'm going for a lobster. Rock, paper, scissors for the big claw. Oh. <laughs> what was that? I don't know what... <laughs> you got it. Okay. <laughs> that was a decoy move. What? <laughs> Sabotage. Yeah. I love it. Oh, look at that. Proper lobster right there. Mm. Nothing more than just smoked paprika and a bit of garlic powder. It's still hotter. That's so good. Mm. <laughs> There's something about it, eh? Eating lobster at half five in the morning. Mm. Especially like when you've gone out and got the seafood yourself as well, eh? Oh yeah, you can't get better than that. No, it's perfect. This is our idea of a Saturday night out. Mm. Oh yeah. Solid lobster. Yeah. That's for sure. Oh yeah, nice little lobster nugget there. <laughs> Feeling tired now though. Knackered. It's been a long old trek tonight. Eh? We've been out like four and a half hours wading through water. <laughs> mm. We needed like Three more lobsters. Three more lobsters would have gone down nicely. At least three more lobsters. Mm. So I won't leave the video any longer, guys. It was a fun old trip, that's for sure, eh, mate? Mm, really good trip. If you want to check out the merch, the link's in the description, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. There's going to be plenty more to come. It's smash fishing, baby. Woo! Yum. Prawns. Nice big prawns as well, eh? Juicy. Mm. It's good. I'll tell you what, lobster's nice like that, just two simple ingredients, mm -hmm. eh? I love it. No need to complicate. We need more lobsters. More lobsters.